Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I thought I would show you my technique of using a lady's napkin to make a really deep pocket. To start with, I had a napkin, or a lady's handkerchief, if you will, that is rather thin, it's kind of see-through, <clears throat> and I cut it to be one of the four panels, and then I've got a book page here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is flip this over to the back side, of the napkin and I've got some Fabri-Tac glue and I'll put little dots along the edge here and I'll do the all four sides. I'm not really worried about the cut edge here because I will be folding that over and it will be hidden so it'll be okay if the glue kind of seeps through a little bit that's why i'm using fabri -Tac. sometimes it doesn't seep through as much as other glues do so i'm going to position this where it's over the text but leave this blank area available i'm going to use my paper cutter and trim off the excess paper All right, so now that I've trimmed off the excess paper, I want to make this smaller from the top edge and the side edge. And what I'll do is fold this piece in to where it's even with the edge of the handkerchief on both sides. So basically I just kind of made a little side pieces here that are fold in, folded in. And what I want to do is line this up on my paper cutter at the five inch mark, because I don't want it wider than five inches. And I will score this on the back side so that I can fold this in. And I'll do it again on this side. pretty easy to get those folded in where I want them and now I want to decide which way I want my pocket and I think I want this to be my top and this will be in the corner down here I could rotate it this way I think I want it this way and what I want to do first is glue this piece down it will be the top of my pocket which will give a little bit of stability and strength and I'll trim off the corners that way these pieces when they're folded in will be where we glue our pocket down on our journal page later so looking at this the next thing i want to do is just add a little bit of decoration on top so first i have a piece of lace that i thought would look kind of pretty over here on this side area so i'm going to grab my fabri -Tac glue and then basically just put some dots down the middle where that lace is thicker, where the image is on it. Kind of go down the sides. And I'm going to line this up with the edge and press it into place. It goes past just a little bit, so I'll flip this over to the back side and press it. And I think I'll just cut off the bottom. That way it's even with the edge. I'm going to set this aside to let the glue dry for a moment while I work on another piece. I want to put a little embellishment on here. So I've got some little paper flowers. So let's colorize these. I'm laying them in a little box. And then I've got some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. This is from the Garden Tea Party. I'll shake it up. I'm trying to use it up. It's one of my past subscription box kits almost empty it's getting there i'm gonna let this set and dry while we move on so now what i want to do is go to the sewing machine and i want to stitch across the top here and down the side and across the bottom i'm not going to stitch over the lace because i don't want to detract from it so let's go over to the sewing machine all right so i'm going to fold out the flaps so they're flat we're going to stitch on my sewing machine 
So I've got a regular sewing machine, regular thread, regular needles. In fact, I do recommend that you use somewhat new thread. If you have really old thread and you put it in your sewing machine, it's a possibility that it would start breaking and it's really frustrating. So save that for some other projects and use a newer thread. The other thing is to make sure that your glue, if you've glued things together, is dry before you start sewing. It would rip the paper, it could gum up your needle and make a big mess. So just be patient, give a little bit of time. I think what I want to do is start on the bottom and basically sew in a big U. So we'll go across the bottom and then up the side and then across the top. So I'm kind of using the fold as my guide as to where I want to start sewing. I've got it set on zigzag, so I'm just going to start stitching down the side. When I get to the end, I leave my needle down and then turn the presser foot or raise the pressure foot and then turn the project and then I can continue sewing on down the side. And then I'm going to go across the top and be done. So there it is all sewn. All right, so this has been sewn and I've got my little tabs that are ready for when I want to mount this in my journal on my journal page here. And what I wanna do next is dry these little flowers. They dried a little bit, but I'm gonna dry them the rest of the way. All right, so my flowers are dry. So I'm just gonna put a little dot of Aline's tacky glue, cause I wanna stack these one on top of the other. I'll just kind of position them where I think I like the way they look. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of Fabri-Tac and put a dot right in the center. And I've got some flat back little pearls here. Sometimes the adhesive doesn't always stick, so that's why I put the glue down. And I'm gonna grab one of those and stick that. The glue didn't even transfer. <laughs> All right, now, now there's glue on there. <laughs> we can stick that into the glue. Let that set for a moment. Robin is my administrator of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group, and she also is an admin when I do my live stream. So she's always asking me, add some bling. So I'm trying to use some bling here. All right, I've got some fabric. This is fabric that I dyed using Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist. I know a lot of you love to tea dye and coffee stain your items. Well, I love using color. So using those same types of methods where you make a bath of water, I dye fabric. I have a couple of tutorials that show you how I did this. So what I want to do is make it like a faux little piece of greenery. So I'm making just a little pleat in here and I'll cut this. Move this aside, grab the Fabri-Tac glue again, and put a couple little dots on here. And then I can kind of pleat it just a little bit. So we kind of have a little faux greenery. And then add a little bit of glue, stick it behind the flower. And let's see, I think I want to put it the other ones I put it in different spots, so I'm trying to decide. Maybe I'll put it up higher on this one. So I'll glue this down. I also have a little word phrase. This is from the Bridal Farms. This is a kit from Calico Collage, and it says Home Sweet Ranch. So I'll just put a little bit of glue on the back of this. And let's put it right here in the corner. Now, one thing I didn't do was I didn't prepare this properly, and I want you to learn from my mistakes. I have a journal card here. It's five by seven, and I forgot to do this. You have to put this in the back, and then I want to fold this one over so that it accommodates my card. So even though my pocket, I scored it at five inches, sometimes I get a little overzealous when I fold things over. So I know that that journal card will fit down in there. You can kind of see where I adjusted it just a little bit. So let's decorate this card. This was some scrapbook paper that I had in my stash. I'm trying to use up my scrapbook cardstock and scrapbook thinner papers. So this is what I had. So I'm using it. I loved it because it's kind of paisley and it kind of reminded me of country, maybe on the farm, kind of a ranch theme. 
And then this was some music paper, the same that I had in my stash. And I want to glue these down. I've gone around the edges with distress inks. I've also rounded the corners. So what I want to do is put just a very small bead of glue across this pocket. And then we're going to line it up with the bottom. This is a great way if you have smaller journal cards or items that you want to put into a pocket, but the pocket is really deep, we'll make a journal card with a pocket and then it can hold all the things that you want. I had a little piece of scrapbook paper that was laying on my desk and I just cut it into a one inch strip and I thought we'd put that right across the middle. Just kind of eyeballing that. And then I have from Norella some horse phrases. I think it's what it's called. I'll have in the description box links to all the things that I use. So if you want to order this kit from Calco Collage, you can do that. And these are just words. There's a whole bunch of them. They have all types of different sayings regarding horses. And I thought that would be kind of pretty right in the middle. So I'll grab some glue and glue this down. And there we go. And then I have one of the journal cards from the Bridal Farms, and that will fit right inside here. And then when we have our pocket, this whole unit will slip right in so that when you glue this into your journal, I got a little tab here I need to cut off. You glue this into your journal, you'll have your little pocket that'll kind of peek out the top. So it'll kind of fill the whole page pretty much. And then you'll be able to pull this out and then you'll have a pocket with your journal card inside of it. Well, I hope you like seeing just a different way of using fabric or in this case, a lady's handkerchief to make a pocket in your journal. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Do check out my other tutorials. No, I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time or I have a live premiere video that will be recorded and published on Mondays. And then I have sprinkled in throughout different tutorials as I come to them. If you have a suggestion for something you would like to see, feel free to ask if you have questions or if you just want to tell me what you thought of this project, I'd love to hear it. Just use that comment box down below. All right, everybody, check out the description box. Come over and visit my Facebook page as well as my Facebook groups. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.